And good morning, folks. It's Friday. Thank hey, God it's Friday. Only really not because I have to work all weekend. I am on my way out in the cold. The mall. It's actually not that bad. It was super fucking windy earlier. And it was really cold because of it. Like super fucking cold. But I'm on the way to pay a couple bills. Pick up my sister's Christmas gift and hopefully her Christmas gift. And then I'm gonna go home and head straight to work. I'm having one of those crazy Christmas moments, the ones where you do like you set out early in the morning and then the whole day is shopping and then other things. We had to do this in years. Anyway, that's where I'm going. And uh, I had something I wanted to say in yesterday's vlog, I totally forgot because it was tired. Essentially, what I want to talk to you guys about is subscriptions and uh, total view count and such. Guys, I know I'm beating this like a dead horse, but how many of you guys have been to bus groups? This is, this is a very real thing vlogs now. A lot of people are doing them, and ones that become popular are ones that are all spread word of mouth. Essentially, if I get enough subscribers, if I get enough people subscribing to me, I can start doing things like advertisements or like a website with merch or like even a donation button or something and I could start making other videos and continue the vlogs but I could do it as a job, like it could be a real thing for me. And I definitely think that after doing this for the while that I've done it and after being a part of what I've been a part of, what I've watched, I can do this for the rest of my life. Like this is very interesting to me. This is something that I'd like to make my job. But in order to do that, I need subscriptions. Like I need popularity. And that's where you guys come in. This is a whole word of mouth thing. Like this isn't involving me uh, just, you know, putting myself out there. It's also you guys putting me out there. Now, I trusted you guys to do this for me, but what I need now is for you guys to start sending it out to your other friends, like people who live further away, people who live in the States or Canada or even in Europe. If you know anybody who's interested in this stuff, show them my vlog, show them a video you thought was particularly awesome and send it to them and get them in through the door, get them subscribed. I know this isn't the most interesting material all the time, but it is a video diary of my life. My life's not always interesting. I wish it was, everybody does. But the more subscriptions I get, eventually I'll start being put up as a featured video on the front page of YouTube. And if that happens, then I'll get a lot of subscribers. And then I could start putting other things into motion. But it all starts with you guys. I really do need you guys for this. You gotta put yourselves out there. I've only got 44 subscribers. I need thousands. <laughs> so put the word out to anybody and any. Everybody and anybody you know. Seriously, guys. Counting on you. I'm in a really girly store. Shopping for girly gifts. And you know, of course, where I ended up. Yep. I really don't know what I'm going to buy. Alright, gifts I have to get done. Now, going to eat and thinking of the last gift I have to get. And this fool here is going to think of the gift he needs to get, too. Yeah. <laughs> You know, more like I've been doing all morning. <laughs> the like 600 he's already bought, he needs to buy another one, I guess, because they're all stocking stuffers, and you can't just use a stocking stuffer as a gift. No, that's not allowed. I think he's he's the kind of guy who'd buy earrings and use them as a stocking stocking stuffer because they're too small. That's right. <laughs> well, unless they were like $300 earrings. <laughs> no, he probably still. That's all you're getting. <laughs> <does. laughs> FYI, I went ran into him, Adam at the mall. I didn't actually come here with him. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm stalking him. <laughs> I don't even know what to think about this. It's tiny. Like, hold, hold this for a second. Just a bag. This, wait, okay. Pepsi bottle, right? It's fucking tiny. Who would wear that? Why would they wear it? They look like they're wearing gorilla skin. <laughs> Alright, that's it for them all. The brainstorming came to pass, and uh, Adam didn't get anything for Denise yet. Because <laughs> neither of us could think of anything. Shut up! I'm gonna get something. That's alright. I got uh, sooner or later. Almost all of my gifts bought now, because I'm not buying from any people this year. So I need to come up with one more idea for Tara 
I need to come up with something for Chris. And I think that's it. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm gonna have to come up with more. Good evening, my friends. It's fucking cold today. And I've been having the worst day I've had in several months. It all started out with a roommate's cat's pushing my phone across the room into the dining room so that when the alarm went off, I didn't hear it because it was too far away. So I woke up around 10.30. My class starts at 10.30. That means I woke up in a flurry and grabbed all my stuff and left. Well, but halfway to the bridge terminal, I felt around my pockets. So I was like, I'm missing something. Oh, shit, my flash drive. My flash drive had my project I was working on last night on it. So I got off at the bridge, turned back around, went back home, <coughs> and, uh, but <coughs> the first bus that came only went to the Highfield Terminal. So I was like, okay, I'll just walk, and if I see the 52 coming, I'll, I'll jump on it, and, uh, I'll get home faster. So I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm looking behind myself, looking behind, and looking behind, and there's no 52 coming, I'm like, okay. And I look, I get about halfway there, and I look to my right, and there's this man in an electric wheelchair, and, uh, he's... Uh, trying to move a big piece of wood and he calls me over he's like hey can I get a hand I'm like sure so I help him move the wood and I'm moving it and moving it and we're talking and he says uh, oh would you, you know would you like any compensation and I was like no thanks it's fine and as I turn around to go to go back to the sidewalk the butt the 52 goes by I'm like god damn it <sighs> so I finally got home and I'm like okay I can wait and take the 52 and then I'm going to miss the 63 and be about, it'll be about 40 minutes till I get to school. Because the 52, or the 63 leaves as the 52 gets to the bridge terminal. Or, I can run down the street and grab the 53 that comes at uh, 28, you know, which is 14 minutes earlier. And I'll catch a bus, I'll be that much earlier. Well, it turns out, I just don't remember correctly, it's 38, not 28. So it came four minutes early, which means I caught the 63. It also means I was sitting and reading. And by reading, I mean a whole bunch of old people came up to me and started talking to me about random shit. <sighs> I hate old people. I know that you were alive during the Cold War, but it doesn't. it's not really pertinent to me. I understand. And, oh man, it was annoying. So once I got to school, everything was great. <clears throat> Worked on our project and everything. And then on my way home... Uh, I was sitting at the bridge terminal for about 45 minutes waiting for a 52. After after about 20 minutes, a 53 came, and I was like, I could take the 53, but I'm sure the 52 will be, will be along soon. And then it didn't come. And I was like, oh, I could take this 16 and go to the Highfield Terminal and walk, but I haven't waited 30 minutes just so I can still walk home. So I decided to sit, stay at the bridge out of principle. Oh, I have a phone call. Apparently I have to walk across the street. I'll continue my story in a moment. So I decided I was going to wait for the 52 on principle. Well, it took me about 45 minutes uh, total from when I got to the bridge terminal to when the 52 got there. So I was waiting in the cold for 55, 45 minutes in just this little sweatshirt. And uh, so I was on my way home and it was getting, I was almost home. And it was mostly us in the back of the bus, or, you know, just me in the back of the bus. And then there was another woman and her kid. Oh, it's too windy. I'll continue on to get home. Sorry about that. So I was in the bus, and it was basically just me and then this woman and her kid in the back of the bus. And the kid was getting antsy to go to, you know, be going home. So he kept asking her, can I pull the cord? 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 And she's like, no, not yet. And uh, then this kid up front pressed the button, and the, the bell dinged, and the mother looked at her kid very angrily <clears throat> and said something I couldn't really hear, but it sparked my interest, so I turned my head back to look at them, and she's like, don't look at us, go back to reading your book. I was like, excuse me? And then their stop came and like got off the bus, and she gave me this look like she wanted to tear out my heart and feed it to me, and her kid's just laughing the whole time. What kind of an example is that to your kid, honestly? Just the epitome of rude. <clears throat> if she thinks I'm being rude for looking back, then she's got other things fucking wrong with her. So, I don't, I, it just makes me crazy that people can be so arrogant is the closest thing I can possibly think that it just disgusts me.